George Schaller, a true wildlife pioneer. George is one of the most amazing characters this world has ever seen. A man who studied so many different species in such challenging situations and goes on at it. He's not a household name, but he was the first to study and save some of the world's most endangered animals. He is far, far more interested in getting the facts out than making a name for himself. George O's is preeminence amongst scientists, I think, because he was pretty well the first person to do it. With a pad and pencil, and a keen sense of how animals think, George Schaller revolutionized wildlife science. He is nature's greatest defender. I am personally a lone wanderer. I like to just roam and learn, see, record. I like to have a scientific justification as well to justify my personal pleasures. So if I can write a biography of an animal, particularly one that's little known, it gives me great pleasure. If people learn about an animal, especially a big, beautiful one, they will have more empathy for it. You get personal satisfaction because you're doing something beyond yourself. You're helping some species to endure. One of the new generation of scientists building on the work of George Schaller is Felix Najijimana, the deputy director of the Diane Fossey Karasoki Research Center. The work of Felix and other researchers is possible because a very smart man figured out the key to observing gorillas was to do a very simple thing. Come on up, Felix. Climb a tree. I nearly always went just alone, no track or no guide. Wow. I know animals don't like to be surprised, so I didn't sneak around the gorillas. I wanted them to see me. The only way they could see you well is to climb into a tree and sit on a branch like we're doing right now. What was the reaction when, for example, they would see you up in a tree, they're feeding, would they run away? You know, the big male is the most alert. Yeah. He often beat his chest, everybody look at me. And then it depends on the male. If he's a nervous male, he will move away. Yeah. Even now, I think the same uh, uh, principle that we follow. Even if they are habituated, once you get to the group, you, you need to show yourself, they need to see you. If the new person, they show some uh, interest because they're of, of, obviously curious, mm. especially in front. Yeah, it's, it's the same principle. Durga has finally had a successful kill. She's sleeping next to the partially eaten carcass of a cheetah deer. This is very peculiar. Not much of the cheetah seems to have been eaten. It's too bad we can't go down and examine it. <laughs> As they wait for Durga's cubs to appear, two scientists share a common bond. Yeah, it's a special feeling to be out there just sitting with yes. the animal. And... Yes, definitely. The, the cubs come. Mm -hmm. I think it's great that you spent four years watching these animals. When you spend days and nights with an animal, you're very grateful to the animal that it's let you into its life. I often see her in my dreams even. And I would, I would pay to do this work rather than get paid to do it. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. My wife keeps telling me, when are you going to get a job? You've done nothing your whole life but enjoying things. Yeah, same thing here. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> 